Barbie kitchen set. So we have this really cool Mickey sleeping bag. I think it's someone's wedding. What a creep. I wonder if you can see. Can you see in there? Do you want to have a look, guys? Oh my god. Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Tozzy Thrifters. This week we are going to hit the op shops like we always do. And we have another local bog deal to pick up on Tuesday, so. <laughs> it just keeps coming. Yeah, it's great. These bog deals have been doing really well for us. So hopefully this one is as good. Now we'll take you guys along and show you what we pick up this week to sell on eBay. Let's go. I can't believe we just found this vintage, well I'm pretty sure it's vintage, I don't, I'm not great with Billabong logos, but this was sitting on the rack and saved us behind us for $28.99, I'm thinking that's going to go for like $150, maybe $200, so check out that logo. Good morning guys, it is Saturday today, I'll show you a little bit of a haul from yesterday and then we're going to get listings, so there probably will be a lot of content from today, but I'll show you what we did pick up yesterday. Alright, let's do a quick flick through, Jazzy picked up this new tags Lululemon just basic top. Now we did pay up for that sort of $19.99, but I think that's gonna hold its value pretty well. So tag price is 79. So if we get sort of 60 out of that, I think we'll do okay. Uh, Jazzy picked up this little danger field piece. Uh, I think she's just gonna keep it for herself, but I'm not sure it's gonna quite fit, but um, we should put that up for about $30, $35, I think. I uh, picked up this Walden Miller leather motorbike jacket. Um, leather motorbike jackets have been going really well for us. Walden Miller, good brand. Paid 35 bucks, but I expect to get about 150 on that one. Nice little Swanee, Swan Dry is a great brand. We always like to find it and pick it up. Paid 22.99, now we did have 20% off some of these prices, so about 20 bucks on that one, and I think we should get around 100. This piece is pretty cool, it's just a Davenport, but it is vintage, so this is a vintage Brisbane Lions like I guess nightgown. Um, I'm trying to find the vintage tag for you guys. It's here somewhere. Where is it? It's just at the top there, so you can just start to make out that vintage AFL logo. So I don't really know what that's going to go for, but I thought it was a pretty good find and couldn't really leave it there. Uh, Cara recommended this one for Jazzy, this Victoria Woods. Um, little jacket, um, $11.99 paid, very nice brand to sell. A uh, little Heli Hansen, we've been doing a right with this brand so far, just a little um, pullover, base layer, little North Face jacket as well, $15.49, we should get about $60 out of that one. I picked up this Hang 10 Vintage Jumper. Um, we sold a Vintage Hang 10 piece the other week for about $50, bucks, so I thought I'd grab this one for $7.49, we'll do quite well out of that one. We've also got this Tommy Bahama. Now, I don't really usually pick up Tommy, but I thought this print was really cool, and it's like 70% silk, so I thought we'd give that one a shot. I also took a chance on this ISC Brumbies jersey. I have to find out what year this is, but I know some of the older styles can go for decent money, so I thought I'd give that a shot. Uh, you saw us pick up this amazing Billabong, pretty sure it's vintage jacket. Uh, I did pay up $28, but I do expect to get over sort of 150 on that piece. Just another Kathmandu, we're picking up these pretty regularly. This one was really nice, so we paid up for it, which was 16.49. But I think we should get about 60 to 70 out of that one. And then these two little Ford pieces, brand new with tags, they were 9.99, uh, they retail for about $59. Um, so I'm happy to grab them for that price. I think we should be able to get 40 out of those pretty quickly. So Jazzy's actually just cleaning a pair of Superga that she picked up for herself yesterday. For me. She also got that hosier shirt yesterday as well. So you, you had a good shopping day yesterday. Shopping for Jazz. But we need to get to some listings. So I'm going to draft that stuff up and then you can take some photographs for yeah. it. We'll probably see you guys on Monday and take you along for the week and see if we can find some more stuff to sell on eBay. See you Monday. Sunday afternoon and I'm packaging a bunch of bulky things today so I thought I would show you how I have gone about packaging a typewriter so that it's floating inside the box. We're always trying to use materials that we have around the house before we go out and buy packaging material so I'm recycling some styrofoam that came out of a shelf that Brad bought over the weekend for his new collection. 
I've started with one layer of the foam and paper and then I have my bubble wrapped typewriter in its case on top of that so that it's never touching the bottom. We've got paper around the side and especially on the corners so that none of the corners are actually touching the box. And then we are going to do another layer of foam on top. So even if this thing takes a punch, it shouldn't touch my typewriter at all. Luckily this one was in its case, but we do have a few things that will go the same and they don't have that added protection. Also sending out this head unit today, and as you can see, there's a lot going on at the back here. So I'm actually going to package it with some paper in here and then bubble wrap around the whole thing so that it's all together and no pieces are going to be able to break off. That would be horrible. Uh, and then I will do the same as the typewriter and I will float that whole thing inside a box with none of it touching the edges of the box and it will get there safe and sound. And same for anything with a joystick. This is going to get some extra attention. I'm actually going to tape some bubble wrap around that. Uh, even though it's going to go in a box, I think it's better to be safe than sorry. And we always get really good feedback when people can tell that we've taken the time. Monday morning, Brad's just made a bid for $31,900. I've just made an extra strong coffee. Okay, it's been exciting, but it has gone up a little bit just in these last few moments. And we have been looking for a van to maybe uh, have a good time in or maybe to flip, but this one is not the one. And it's been fun though, a bit of excitement. Closed at 42,000. I don't know if that met reserve, but if the reserve was lower than that and someone actually got this for 42,000, they did get a really good deal. And if it was our dream layout, we uh, would have made it ours, but not today. Good morning, guys. It is now Monday, and it's a typical Monday morning. We have sort of lost the morning because <laughs> I've finished editing tomorrow's video, which is a bit of a pick and pack. And we made a mistake, so make sure you check out that video. Today we're gonna to go drop off the post. Um, decent weekend on eBay, which was great, and maybe hit a couple op shops on the way back. Tomorrow, however, we have another bulk deal to do, so come along with us. I, I think we've been saying that a lot lately, but um, <laughs> we're gonna take them while they're around, so uh, we'll take you guys along. Guess what day it is? Uh, I don't know. Deal day. <laughs> okay. Tuesday is here and deal day. Uh, we need to go get that deal. So we've actually got one today and potentially one tomorrow. So the exciting stuff is coming up. We'll take you guys along. We won't film inside, but we'll show you what we pick up probably as we put it in the car and then at the end and do a little bit of a rundown. So hopefully we can get this one done today and uh, get some more stock to list up on eBay. Get it done. Let's go. Okay, we've just done the deal. So the back is uh, pretty full once again. Uh, $1,600 this time, so we did negotiate a little bit on this one because there is a few things in there that we're not really sure on. There's a lot in there that's going to do really well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great to have these opportunities to get these big deals. Saves us sourcing all this stuff, um, saves us all that time of driving around and trying to find it. So That's it. That's why we'll pay up. I yeah. mean, it's, it's a good price. Still, we're going to make a lot of money, but it's really the time. Yeah. Time we would spend sourcing and now the time we're going to spend listing. And because of the amount of stock that we're sort of turning over in a week, we need to be listing like 140 up to 200 items a week to continue that on. So finding that many items in an op shop... <laughs> you have to spend a lot of hours like driving around obviously we still love doing that and we'll still keep doing that but when these sort of deals come along where you can supplement a lot of that stock it, it just makes sense so it just makes sense yeah we're happy to get this one done we might hit a few oppies on the way home i'm not sure um but yeah we'll show you exactly what we got when we get home
Okay guys, so 1600 bucks paid for everything here. I think we've done okay on this lot. Uh, again, let us know in the comments what you guys think, but we'll take you through each box, show you what we've got. I think this one's probably gonna be a little bit better than the last two once we get through it all. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, first box is mostly gaming stuff. So we have uh, this, the third birthday by the looks of it. Um, apparently that is just the box. There's no game in that one. So we'll just sell that as is. We do have a Crash Bandicoot PlayStation 1 game. Uh, looks like we've got a uh, complete there. So that should do all right as well. PS3 game, Time Crisis, always a fun game that one. A couple Pokemon uh, manuals, scenario guides. Heart Gold, Gold Silver, uh, Soul Silver, sorry, that should do quite well. And Diamond version, Pearl version, always do all right. We have ourselves an Atari, and apparently this all works properly, so we'll test that out. And we have a bunch of controllers in here, a bunch of cords for PlayStation, PS2, all that sort of stuff. Looks like Sega as well. So that is the first box. Second box is mostly blank media. Uh, so we've got a bunch of VHSs, we've got a bunch of little videotapes for camcorders, uh, heaps, they're all new and sealed. There's some better quality ones in here with the um, metal gauge on them as well, so they should do right. There's probably about 50 or 60 there, um, all part of the deal. We also picked up this vintage Port Adelaide Power Tower. Uh, that's pretty cool, shame about the team, but that should do quite well on eBay. Now this box is a bit odd, so this is an LG phone system, like where you plug all your different phones into. So we're gonna have to sell this as parts because we don't know if it's working, but even as parts we should get about 100. This one here is very random and I wasn't even sure what this was uh, until we got told. So this is from Bang and I didn't even say Olfusen, I didn't even know how to say it, but this is part of like a stereo system. Uh, even as a part, this should go for well over a hundred bucks. Um, very high end, that brand. And I'll probably said it wrong. We've got a couple bits and pieces here. We've got a nice little headset. Um, very dynamic, quite popular. A couple remotes. Always do quite well with some specific remote Samsung, Panasonic and some Sony do well. That's box three. All right, we've got a bunch of toys in this lot here. We've got this little Godzilla fella. Make some uh, crazy noises from 1998. We have an original Timon uh, from the 90s with the tags. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have some more Godzilla and Kong. These are the newer sets, so we'll probably lock them together. We have a bunch of these troll dolls. Now, these ones are from Russ. Um, the ones that you want to be looking for that are worth a lot of money are the Thomas Dam ones. But if we lock these up as a lot, we should get, you know, maybe a hundred bucks for the set. A couple Christmas ones coming to Christmas there. Old mate Kendall, um, he's doing his thing. I think this was from G.I. Joe um, back in the sort of 90s. So that's a pretty cool toy. If it's all there, should make us a little bit of coin. And another one, a little G.I. Joe toy there as well. We've got these Schley dinosaurs, uh, apparently quite a good brand to pick up. We've got three or four of those as well. And some little mini figures from the same brand. We should be able to lock them up together and make a couple of bucks out of those. Uh, maybe as a set, maybe around a hundred. Uh, a couple of dragons there as well. And check out this little Polly Pocket. I don't know if you guys remember Polly Pocket from back in the day. I don't even know if I can open them now. But uh, we've got a couple of Pollies in there, so that's pretty cool. Now we don't really know anything about silverware or anything like that, um, but apparently these brands here are quite um, decent, German brands. Uh, you've got Mundial for this knife set, and this looks like Wusthof Drizak. I can't even say that, but we'll do some comps on that, see how that goes. Just a Port Adelaide tie. Some ink, which always does quite well. Uh, Adelaide Crows 1997 Premier's Cup, that might go into my new collection. And also a red legs one, so sandful. Um, we'll just have to do some comps on that. I'm not really sure what we're looking at on that. Now this is something that's well and truly outside of our comfort zone. This is a Zildjian, and I've probably said that completely wrong, crash and ride symbol, 18 inch. Now there's certain brands of crash symbols that do really well. Um, apparently this one here should do us around $100. Um, obviously we're gonna have to post that as well, but something to keep an eye out for. Um, and once we learn this, it's something we can keep an eye out for ongoing. Say hello to my little friend. 
We've got this gigantic mega Nerf gun. Now this is probably just going to go on Facebook Marketplace because it is gigantic. Uh, and we don't really want to ship that, but we should be able to move that on Facebook Marketplace for like maybe 30 bucks. Um, some of the Nerf stuff does quite well, but we'll see how we go. The little Adelaide Crows, uh, that is the vintage logo. We've been selling these for around $30. We picked up a couple lately. A uh, nice little Xbox original bag and also a PS2 original bag. Some of these are quite rare. Um, the one that we picked up last week looked like it was kind of like $80, $90. Um, so I'm not really sure on the Xbox, but I'm assuming between that $50 and $100. All right, we've got a big bag of stuff down here on the ground. Uh, let me go through. So these are a pair of Wolverine 100 mile boots. Um, these are in pretty good condition. This should be between that sort of $100 to $200 mark. Got a nice pair of Wigner. They're like another style of hiking shoes. They don't have the Vibram soles, uh, but in very good condition. I'm thinking we should get about 50 on those. Got a ton of clothing here. Just a little nice little uh, Nike piece. Uh, looks like showing off the Air Maxes through the 90s. We've got a official Team Apparel Raiders jumper. Um, I'm not sure what we'll get out of that, but you'd think at least 40 to 50. Nice vintage billabong. Uh, it's like a thick shirt I'd say it's not quite a jacket a nice logo on the back but I'm thinking we should get 90 to 100 on that a pair of nudie jeans always do quite well for us dragon great pair of jeans to pick up for motorbike riders they have the Kevlar lining don't use that in the title or you will get a Vero like no tomorrow a pair of Columbia shirt uh, Iron Williams stockyard shirt now we start getting to some sort of vintage um, I guess different types of military stuff. So this one is from 1991, uh, Nevada, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Pearl Harbor Day. We've got a Lacoste pullover. We've got another um, older style military, California, 1993. We've got Spruce Goose Aviators Club, which apparently is about some guy who tried to fly a wooden plane. Uh, we've never actually picked up this brand and sold it ourselves, but Kenneth Cole. I have heard some of the Americans talk about this brand, uh, so that'll be interesting, a little leather jacket. We've got a little D-Day um, commemorative 50th anniversary tee there as well. I don't know what this one is. OCU. Looks like another military sort of um, tee. We have a Bruce Springsteen. Uh, that is double stitch, so I'm not sure if that's vintage or not. I might be able to um, work out the era from the dates and stuff like that, but it doesn't look to have any dates on it. We have a Jimmy Barnes. Uh, not on a very good logo or brand or anything like that. Um, but again, it looks like it's an older style, probably not quite vintage. Largs Pier Hotel, so it looks like it came to Adelaide. We have a little advertiser Sunday Mail polo. Okay, I believe this is a Grateful Dead tee. Uh, it's on a hand-dyed sundog. Um, so I believe that's, you know, a pretty good tee to find in this lot. I'll have to do some more research on that. I don't know a lot about Grateful Dead, but I know a couple guys that do, so I'll hit them up. We've got a little uh, Mack truck tee. Super Oz tag, so nothing special. An older style of Ford racing. Uh, I believe this one is just on Insight, so that's probably nothing special. We have a little Star Wars tee. Ooh, almost threw away some cool ones there. A couple kids Spider-Man tees. Now these don't look to be super old uh, as they are double stitched, but the graphics on them are very cool. So I'll probably throw them up together just because it's Spider-Man and it's cool. I mean, you're not gonna pass up on that. We've got another rod and gun pullover. That should be about 40 bucks. And an LL Bean pullover. That's probably another 40 to 50 bucks right there. All right, we've got a big box of games and vintage items. We've got this Barbie kitchen set. We have this really cool Mickey sleeping bag upside down. It's very cool. We've got this Goosebumps tin set, uh, vintage Transformers, got some Tazos. I think this set is almost complete, except for a couple at the back. And Space Jam set. Got a shaker maker. I've never actually seen that before, so that's going to be interesting to comp. Got a little vintage wiggles, the old OG original serving tray that you can sort of stand up. It's pretty cool. Got a bunch of these Crusaders. Um, oh, sorry, cru Crush Gear. 
and I don't actually know where these are from or their era or anything like that so I'm gonna have to do some research but I did have a quick look at comps and sort of like $60 each by the looks of it unused we got a bit of this corpse bride gear some of this stuff seems like 60 to 100 it's all sealed so that's that's quite a nice little pickup we got this full set come right in there i think there was a couple of them in here as well those two sets there that one has been opened that one's probably going to be a little bit less but the other ones seem to be sealed what else we got in here got some more of the crush gear all sealed oh there's the uh back for that so maybe it hasn't been opened another crush gear and we have a chara remo from the, the nightmare before christmas all right we got like 70 to 75 different records and this isn't the sort of kamal stuff either this is beatles uh, more beatles john lennon yoko ono more beatles ringo star i know what that one is Ringo, Paul McCartney, McCartney, Paul McCartney, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. I don't know what that one is. Pink Floyd, Rich Strikes Back, Elton John, Elton John, Elton John, Kate Bush. Marsha Hines, Killing Me Softly, Stevie Nicks, Helen Reddy, Cher, Madonna, Bonnie Tyler, Bonnie Tyler, Bonnie Tyler, The Beach Boys, Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan, Johnny Cash, Eric Clapton, Bruce Springsteen, uh, Gold Hour of the Kinks, the Proclaimers, Dire Straits. Joe Crocker, Rod Stewart, Rod Stewart, Rod Stewart. And Drew the Blockheads, Cat Stevens is pretty cool. Fundamentals, we've got John Travolta. Got another one. Come on. Huey Lewis. Streams of Stripe Wap, Larry Norman, Billy Joel, Billy Joel, Rhythmics, The Butterfly Ball, The Alan Parsons Project. I think we're starting to move into some Uriah Heap up here, the radiators. From Denver, Best of Bee Gees, Cat Stevens. David Bowie, 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 you're right heap, you're right heap, and you're right heap. So about 70 records included in all. And we got this made in Japan kimono with its tie. So, uh, you know, I might rock that out, but um, otherwise it should be sort of 100 to 200 when they're made in Japan. So quite a nice little point. Hey, hey, it's Wednesday. I am just packing up the last of Tuesday's orders, and one of them is the Canon camcorder that we were playing with. Brad just picked up this old Canon uh, camcorder at Salvo's, and now he's watching someone's wedding. I think it's someone's wedding. What a creep! I wonder if you can see. Can you see in there? Do you want to have a look, guys? Oh my god, you can see! There you go, a peek into someone's life. We bought it on Monday, listed it on Tuesday, shipping it out on Wednesday. That is a dream sale. There was also a production company out shopping for costumes last night and they bought from us a bunch of vintage RM Williams and a cute little danger field. So we're bundling those five up this morning to ship out. Let us know in the comments if you've ever sold something that ended up being on TV. We would love to know. Pretty excited that these could end up on the screen. 
Now today we were supposed to be going along to meet up with someone who has closed their eBay store and see what we could buy from them, but we have had to postpone that till the weekend. So we will show you that next Friday. Huge thank you to both Hayden and Tom for buying us a coffee this week. We really, really appreciate it. It helps us to keep making videos and we appreciate every single one of you for watching. See ya next Friday. Are you filming me? No comment. I'm filming you filming me. It's inception. <laughs>